Can you give two examples? You started with one of gerotherapeutics because we geroscientists want to develop gerotherapeutics or geroprotectors um, that can extend health span and lifespan. What's going on now in your, in your lab or in your uh, world? Yeah, I can, I can talk a little bit about that. I think, first of all, there's probably 20 to 50 of these geroprotectors, maybe more, that have been proposed, and there's varying degrees of data on them. I think one of the exciting things we're doing in the lab is to begin to test them side by side in human clinical studies. And so hopefully we can start to tease out which ones work in which people for what reason. I think I mentioned alpha-ketoglutarate, and that the reason I like that so much is it's a safe, natural product that compresses morbidity in mice. So it extends lifespan by a little bit, uh, but reduces frailty by a lot. Uh, and uh, we have some human clinical data that we're getting ready to publish on that, although I must say it's not clinically controlled. We also have a placebo-controlled study that we're still completing. Um, but there's at least indications that things might be interesting in humans as well. Uh, and then we're looking at a lot of different interventions in animal models. And um, I, we've been, have still not published this, but we've been looking at this fibrate called gemfibrazil uh, that is used for hypertriglyceridemia. And it has some very interesting properties. And we think what it's doing is inhibiting amino acid transport in the gut. So we think it has an entirely new function that's not been identified before. It's thought to be a PPAR alpha activator. So we're putting a lot of time and effort into trying to understand if it really does affect amino acid uh, import and if that's why it's uh, affecting longevity and health span.